Yes, yo, what's up, crew? That is Chew. How's it going, guys? Okay, so um, I promised you guys an ice comer guide, a third one. So um, here it is. I'm gonna try to make this as like short as precise as con condensed as possible. Um, this is gonna be the fox guide. It's kind of like tips and tricks, neutral guide, that kind of stuff. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna try my best to explain everything in as much detail as possible in the shortest amount of time. So let's go ahead and get started with our first tip and trick that I like to do against foxes. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, do something which I call shield mix up. It's uh, something you do with ice climbers. You can only do it with ice climbers, of course, because you have two climbers. So with, two, with the two climbers, right, you get two different shields. So um, this is pretty much what it looks like. You see how you see how Nine is shielding and then uh, Popo has a smaller shield? You see that? Okay. Let me let me show you how to do it first, and then afterwards I'll explain why that's good. Uh, and this is like my bread and butter of like what I like to do against foxes. Uh, I love it. It you're, you're able to do so much off of it. So, anyways, let me show you how to do it. This is my L button. Okay, I, I, I use L to shield. Okay, so all you have to do is you just press it tight, uh, lightly. You just press it lightly. That's all you do. You just press it lightly. Don't press it all the way. Don't do this because it will, it will make both of them hard shield. You do a uh, light light little press. You do a light little press, right? And you get the double shield. What that, okay, now let me explain what that does. What that does is it allows you to mix up the your, it, it forces Fox to, um, to like, to like pretty much adapt to your, your, uh, your double shield, uh, for first L cancels. So you know how Fox likes to pressure you with, with like down air, uh, neutral air. Uh, up air and all that good stuff and to shine you know how he does all that and to shine it's like really hard for fox to do but if he double shield it messes up his timing completely uh, if he double shield uh, fox will have a like a much harder time to to you know shine pressure you and to you know uh, you know to shine out of shield he, he will miss his L cancels pretty, pretty much using the double shield method Also when he does miss his L cancels that that just gives you a free opportunity to get a grab So that's that's the that's the main one of the main things I use on a lot of people is I use the double shield tech uh, technique and it's it's beautiful. It's amazing. I love it and Yeah, so um, Make sure you learn how to do that. So that's the first thing I wanted to teach you guys for the Fox guide uh, the second thing I'm going to teach you guys for the Fox Guide is going to be um, catching full hop down airs with up air at a shield. Okay, so when Fox is pressuring you, right? He's pressuring you with like neutral air into shine, neutral air into shine, down air into shine, all that good stuff. He's just, he's just pressuring you. Sometimes he makes a mistake and he'll do a full hop and he'll do a down air right on top of your shield as you're shielding. So you'll be shielding, right? You're shielding, you're shielding, you're shielding, and then you uh, and you have Fox. He 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 likes to he likes to do full hops onto your shield, and and he usually they'll do like a down air. He'll they'll they'll try to do like a down air out of shield, or I'm sorry, a full hop down air, and they'll try to land on your shield into a shine. When they do that, you can jump out of shield, right? You can jump out of shield, right? And uh, as they're coming down, you can get them with the up air, short hop up air. Depending on depending on whether they try to land behind you or in front of you, that's that's where you, pretty much where you want to um, that's where you want to move with the with the short hop up air. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay. So um, just be aware of that technique. It's really really good against uh, against fox. So just um so you just stay in your shield. You literally you, you can literally just camp your shield unless they start reading that you're just camping your shield. They'll start grabbing you. But if they don't if they don't grab you, if they just love to just go in and use like all these moves on you, they'll eventually do a full hop on top of you, and then that's when you catch them with the up air. You catch them with the up air, and then uh, from that it just leads out uh, leads uh, leads into a conversion like a grabber into wobble or uh uh you can do uh, a down smash or any, pretty much anything. You can just you can do anything out of it. Okay, so make sure you learn how to do up air out of shield as uh, as ice commerce against fox. It's it's the best move against fox, um, hands down. It's like it's so freaking good. All right, uh, so that's the second thing I wanted to te teach you guys. Uh, third thing I wanted to teach you guys was the jab to catch shine approach. So this one's gonna be a little tricky to do, um, but let me see if I can do it. I'm I'm not I'm unfamiliar with twenty uh, XX, but I think I can do it. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Alright, alright. So, you know how Fox likes to... Okay, there it is. Okay. I, pre I, I pressed the shine button, but it wasn't working. But, yeah, you know how Fox likes to approach with shine? 
Like, he'll just approach you, right? And then, he'll shine you. And then, uh, and then he'll, like, hit, and then he'll just, like, um, he'll kill you off the state side of the stage with shine, pretty much. With shine. So, that's a, a lot of foxes, especially the top level, a lot of foxes, they love to spam, um, they love to do down air. I'm sorry, not down air. Uh, shine. They love to approach a shine, okay? So just so that's the move that I'm talking about. So I just showed you guys what the move was. So they approach a shine, right? So one thing that you can do to beat the shine approach is you can jab, okay? If a fox approaches you with shine and he just constantly does it every single uh, every single time, you can read that and then what you can do is you can jab, okay? You all you do is you you jab him as he's approaching you. So what that does is when you jab, right? You you pretty much you um you clink with the hitbox of the shine so that's the first uh, thing that happens and then with Nana's jab Nana's jab will actually go through the shine uh, after the hitbox because like because there's two hitboxes right there's Nana's hitbox and, and Popo's hitbox Popo's hitbox will clink with the shine and then Nana's hitbox will since there's no since, since there's no hitbox present since it already clinked with the first with with Popo's jab Nana will actually have her jab go through and it will actually hit Fox and then from there you can get a jab and a grab uh, so it looked like something like this. So, so jab grab, jab grab is so good. Jab grab is really really good as ice climbers. So just make sure th uh, that like um that you're spot on with your timing. It's not that hard to time. You you literally just watch them, um you know run at you and they'll do t either two things. They'll do a full hop down air, or a uh, full hop back air, or they'll do a uh, running shine or. They can also do like neutral air. They can also do down air. So those are the, all the different things that you need to watch out for. But if you if you if you can if you can see the shine coming, if you can see the running shine coming, that's one way you can beat it. So it's um, make sure that you can that you like catch them on him because that's really really good. It's it it like it gives you a free opportunity for a wobble or like a grab or anything. It's free damage. But yeah, catch him with the jab. Okay. So that's the third thing I want to teach you. Fourth thing is grab options, okay? Let me show you um, what the grab options are. So when you grab somebody at zero, right? This is what I like to do. If they know how to get out of the mango, this is what this is what the mango is. I, I taught you guys how to do the mango. If you guys don't know how to do the mango, make sure you watch this video. And uh, it pretty much explains how to do the mango. It's uh, down air, down throw, down air, re-grab. But in that video, so it's in the Ice Climber Guide too. So it's down throw, down air. Uh, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, but in the ice comer guide too, I also go um, go into like I start talking about blizzarding after the down throw downer, which is also effective if if you're not allowed to wobble. So yeah, you should definitely watch that video if your tournament's ban wobbling. Anyways, yeah. So you want to do so that that's one thing you can do. Watch the video. Watch this video to learn how to do that. And so that's one one grab option you can do. Okay. Here's another grab option you can do. But if they know how to get out of the mango. Then what you can do is you can down throw up smash, and this is what it looks like. Okay, that sets up for a tech uh, tech chase option. It sets up for a re grab. Like if you re grab, you get a wobble. Most likely, all foxes, if they start catching onto this, if they start catching onto this, what they will do is like when they, when they get up smash, they will actually di all the way out. They'll uh, they'll di all the way out, and then at that point, you need to start way dashing your cross uh your way across the 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 stage. And then you need you can you might be able to get another re grab if you're really good if you're really fast. Um, however, like most of the time, you won't be able to get another re grab. So what will happen is you'll get up down throw up smash. They will fail the tech. And then you can just uh, jab reset into a wobble. So that's so that's one thing you guys can do. So that's that's another grab option. The third grab option, obviously wobbling. You you get a grab. That's your third uh, that's your third grab option. You just straight up just go into a wobble if they're above like forty percent or if you if you uh, get the correct timing. Uh, here's another grab uh, option if they're by the stage you can hand off let me see if I can um, do this really quick just show you guys what it looks like pretty much that's what it looks like uh, obviously as you guys can see I, I suck at handing off 
But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the concept of uh, the fourth grab option. So those are your grab options. Make sure you know them. Make sure you practice them. If you don't know how to do a handoff, I'm sure there's guides out there how to do a handoff. But if you don't know, pretty much you just down throw with Popo, and then you re grab with Nana. And then Nana's always gonna forward throw, so then you can, you can and then you re grab with Popo. You just gotta make sure you, you um, your timing is right. It just takes a lot of practice. See, my, I suck at it, but if you practice it more than I do, then you, you'll get you'll probably get better that at um, hand um, handoffs. Um, you'll probably get better than than I am. Um, so, anyways, so that so that's uh, the fourth thing. So that's those are your grab options, right? Those are my grab options, anyways. Here's a, here's a fifth grab option, actually. So if uh, if you're Sopo, yeah. you can up throw into into random combos. Okay, so if they di out, you should be able to get a, a dash attack. So if, if you up throw, they di out, and then you should be able to get a dash attack. But if they if they don't di, you can just get an up smash. So just remember that. Um, it's really, I don't like up throw that much. It works on like lower level people, but higher level people, they can get out, they can jump at, at, like before your dash attack will actually hit you. Fifth thing that I want to teach, uh, teach you guys is tech chasing. Okay. So tech chasing obviously is really, really hard. You just gotta, you just gotta try your best to tech chase. Let me see if I can like tech chase this fox. I guess it's just gonna take in place. Oh, there it is. It is possible to tech chase, As, especially if they tech uh, in place like this. It's very, very difficult. Ice climber tech chasing has got to be like one of the most difficult tech chasing things to do in the world. But if you if you read it, then you can do it. Just saying, okay. If you read, if you down throw. And then you read that they're gonna take in place. You grab them again. If the, if you read that they're gonna that they're gonna t uh, tech backwards, you dash one. You dash to the left, dash to the right, and grab again. If you if uh, if you down throw and if they di out and then tech away, that's that's the hardest uh, tech chase to to get. But usually, um, tech chasing is possible with Sopo. I just want to put that out there. So I just make um, so just. Be aware that you can do that. Um, so, I guess just practice tech chasing in 20XX is the best advice I can give you. There's not you just you just grab to the right if they tech to the right. You know, um, they you grab to the left if they tech to the left. And if you if you read that they're gonna tech in place, just grab it again, take them, and then you um you you. You down throw them again or whatever, and just keep tech chasing until you get a lot of percent. And you can get a, ni a nice little read. Like my my favorite read to get is like a down throw into tech chase into up smash. That that's that's really really good. And then you can just combo into a bunch of things. So, um, let me give you an example. I I think I can pull this off. Let me just do it really quick. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry, I can do it. Oops. See? And then you can re from there. So that's pretty much what it is. That's what it looks like. That's tech chasing. In a nutshell. That's what I like to do during tech chasing. Approaching, okay? Uh, let me just show you a basic approach that I like to do. You can this is um this is my favorite approach. You wave dash, jab. Grab. That's that's pretty much it. This is my favorite approach. Okay, you gotta make sure that when you grab, you make that like you input, um, like when you grab right, you input the uh, you input dash, like you run, and then do a jump cancel grab. Okay, so it's like that's what it looks like when it, when I'm not next to Fox. So it's jab grab. So you gotta practice this. So uh, jab, jump, cancel, uh, grab. Okay. If you don't know how to jump cancel, you press either Y or X at the same time. You press Z, and then you get a um, you get a, a jump cancel. So yeah, that's, that's jump canceling. You're running, and then you can you can do a standing grab as um, as you're running. 
You don't want to do the. You don't want to do this. You don't. Don't do this. That's too laggy. Don't do the running grab animation. That's way too laggy. You just do the. Just do the stand. Just do the standing grab animation. All right. Another thing that you can do as an approach, is you can. Uh, you can back air. Like you can way dash backwards and back air. So. Way dash. Backwards back air. Wait. Way dash down smash. That's a great approach. Is it so fast? Um, I love I love forward air. Forward air is kind of like my my favorite thing to do, but it's it's more of like a defensive move, which I will get into in a bit. But yeah, but you can approach with forward air. It's uh it's really really good. So it just does a whole bunch of damage. All right, uh, time to get into defensive um options. You want to if you if you notice a fox is going to either run at you and do a neutral air or run at you and do a down air then what you can do is you can actually beat it with back airs you can just like throw these out there when you anticipate the neutral air or back air and it, uh i'm sorry not back air uh, down air and then it should it, it should beat it back air should be uh beat fox uh for his for his approaches you can also anticipate neutral airs and down airs you, you can just do um you can jump over it and you can do a forward air where they're gonna land. It sometimes it works. It's kind of risky. Sometimes it works if they don't read it too much. Yeah, but it's great. It's great for setting up like zero to death combos. For, uh, that's why I love forward air so much. It just sets up uh, zero to death combos. See, look up, look, look at that. Forty-four percent with a uh, forward, forward air uh, down uh, down smash. Oh, uh, forward air. Okay, so anyway, so that's that's uh those are some really really good uh, defensive options. Obviously, shielding is your best friend, and then um, that's pretty much it for the fox guide, guys. I hope you guys learned a bunch of things. So uh, I'm just gonna talk about like miscellaneous stuff that like I think I missed. Way dashing out of shield is your best friend. Please learn it. If they miss, if they miss an off smash, you need to learn. You need to way dash out of shield. If you don't know how to way dash out of shield, that's how you do it. Okay, you you shield. And then you do a way dash out of it. That's what it looks like. So you you shield right. Sh just press it lightly. Jump, jump with either the Y or X button, and then make it click. Make it uh, obviously. Uh, you know, put your um, your control stick in a diagonal direction so they can way dash right. But yeah, you make it click. So jump, make it click. If you want to wave dash like like this, just keep your L or R button like always light pressed. So this is the light press. This is hard press. Always keep it light pressed. So just keep it light pressed. If you if they whiff the up smash, you can wave dash out of shield, down smash, wave dash out of shield into wobble. See, it's it's so good. Way, da way, uh, way dash out of shield is really really good. You can also way dash out of shield um, if you if you see them with an attack like that. It's it's really really good. It's one of my favorite approaches as well. Um, I think that's it, guys. I don't think I, there's anything else to cover for the Fox vs. Ice Commerce matchup. I think I pretty much covered everything. Let's all right, let's end it. All right, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. I got Twitter, Instagram uh, links in the description below uh let me know if you have any questions as well um just put it in the comments whatever all right guys uh thank you much so much for watching and uh, i'll see you guys on my next guide bye -as! later guys